up ladies and gentlemen uh, today we're gonna go over the illustrator essentials and we're gonna talk about the toolbar alright I'm doing this tutorial so I can basically get some insight on illustrator and the basic techniques for the new users or the people I mean just people that might not know certain things about it but so we're gonna go through the toolbar and certain things you will use on the toolbar alright uh, here is the selection tool. Selection tool allows you to just select the object and move it around. I mean, you would use this if you want to select four objects and just place them in different positions. You can also hit shift and you can twist it. And shift gives you an even twist at uh, 45 degrees and 90 degrees. So it'll put it in the perfect position. This is 45. This is a full 90, so it's back in the same position. Uh, direct selection tool, which is the white toolbar, and I am using CS6, so I won't go over anything that's not in the lower program, so keep that in mind. And direct selection tool allows you to select just a point, and you can hit, hit shift on a point. Yeah and this allows you to move certain points so it's just moving this point and this point I can hit Apple Z or command Z and it puts it back in a normal position and the magic wand is just like in Photoshop and also the lasso tool basically the same thing you can select just this point pen tool Pen tool is not like Photoshop, but with uh, time and practice, you can get to it. And I will make a separate video showcasing the pen tool and what it does and all the different functions of it. But for this video, I, I mean, it's just too much to learn about the pen tool to cover it, but I will come back to it. Alrighty, well we got the type tool. Type tool is the same thing. You just type, hit that, type uh, whatever you want to type and you have your fonts available. And you can go to window and bring in the character uh, palette and it, it has the same functions as Illustrator also. Any Adobe programs basically have the type tool the same way. So that's no big deal. Rotate. Rotate is the same thing as I was doing with the uh, what I was doing when I was manually rotating. But the rotate tool is an actual toolbar that comes up and gives you percentages that you want to rotate with. Scale tool. And scale tool is the same thing. If you want to scale up 200%, it will scale whatever you selected and scale it up and you do have different functions there also so reflect tool and I've used the um, shape builder tool when I created uh, symbols symbols is when you have different uh, objects you create you could use the symbol sprayer tool if you want to put a bunch of them on the page at once you uh, create any object turn it into a symbol and you can just spray it on but you have to have one selected and let me go here and give you a quick let's get the symbol palette up alright now I have the symbol palette now I have my sprayer here if I just hold it down it just puts them there I mean you have different functions with the symbol tool here you can scrunch them, you can shift them, you can size them, resize them, make them bigger or smaller, you can stain them, you can screen them, make them lighter or darker. And you have the eyedropper tool. I use this a lot with my gradient mesh. So this is how I draw the color from the, the original photo using the eyedropper tool. And you can double click on that and you have different options. And you see I have my appearance unchecked on both sides and everything else checked. 
and raster sample size is point sample so keep that in mind if you ever accidentally you can't pick up color from your original image double click on the eyedropper tool and it might come in handy for you blend tool I don't use the blend tool but I have seen people use it and it has some great results I mean I've seen some on DeviantArt where a guy used the blend tool for the whole image that he worked on and it does exactly what it says it blends colors like two different colors it blends them together uh, through steps and don't use the graph tool don't use the slice tool zoom tool of course you just zoom in zoom out all right and we have the artboard tool this allows me to resize my artboard so if I click it and you see I get this uh, checkered box around my my artboard I could change it oh, that's creating a separate artboard I can make the artboard bigger or I can make it smaller just whatever I need if I need to uh, if I bring in a picture just place a picture and I want to change my artboard to the size of that picture click on this tool and to to disengage it just hit the selection tool and it goes back to your artboard and you can work again and hand tool hand tool just moves your artboard around but if you have the magic mouse for the for the Mac you can just use one finger on your mouse and it does the same thing and here is your color fill and the color stroke now what this does is I'm gonna hit the selection tool and click on my square here I can double click on the fill and change my color I have different ways of doing this but I'm gonna use, uh, use it this way and now I have a stroke on here I'm going to make the stroke bigger about 10 percent now stroke if I don't want the stroke I just click on it have it in front of the field color and I hit none and the stroke is gone so there you have it and color I can click on here and hit gradient I've got gradient on my field I mean on my stroke hold on one second now I could click that and it'll turn this into a gradient and this is the gradient tool also and you can mess around with it but I'm not gonna cover that today and it goes in conjunction with the gradient tool over here so if you want to place colors and add but you should all probably already know how to use that but if not I will go over that in a later tutorial also and if you guys want any certain tutorials made on how to use certain things like the Pathfinder tool the Pathfinder tool is a great tool to create different and unique shapes I mean I use that quite often uh, for certain things not really for gradient mesh but for any type of design if I want to get a, a unique shape I use the Pathfinder tool so but like I said I'm gonna just try to just make these look quick videos and just to give you an outlook on basic techniques of Illustrator and today is the toolbar and if you guys have any questions let me know uh, in the comment section if you have any suggestions for any quick vi videos that you want me to make about the Illustrator Essentials also leave a comment in the comment section and if you have any questions about gradient mesh or whatever, I'm on DeviantArt, Frank White A1, W, I mean F R A N K W Y T E A1. So until next time, guys, peace.